once you come up in the morning uh, ignite the steam boiler in the next two or three hours it will be ready once it's here from here up to between uh, 45 and 50 55 it will give you sound production between 45 to 55 yes pressure gauge uh, this is a pressure gauge Okay. You uh, you understand it? You start the engine comfortably. Yes. Do the operation comfortably. Uh, yeah. So that's it. This is a, this is a fire. Uh, we call it waste refuge fire boiler. Okay. Waste, waste refuge fire, fire boiler. boiler. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, but we use shells and uh, fibers to this, operate. These shells here and fibers are what they are used to power it. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. What if these shells are still wet? Will it still ignite? Um. That, that's why we have this. Like, if you want to start it, at least you have to mobilize dry one. Uh, as soon as you start it, but with this now, it can, it can, it can go ahead. Yes. Uh, and that's why we, we established it. This one has um, a dry, boy, dry, dry bed. Okay, this is a dry bed. That's why there is steam coming out from here. If you match it, it's if, hot. If you match it, you see it, you discover that it's very hot. Yeah. Uh, so it will dry all these uh, fibers. Yeah. Uh -huh. And even wet shells. Okay. Once you spread them in here, they, they will dry. So you can do the normal milling. Okay, this dry, this dry, this uh, this uh, fiber and the shell of the pamkane, exactly. they are used to power this uh, facility. This okay. okay. The machine, once that to get to the point of that 50, uh, if you start this locomotive, okay, very well. It doesn't use fuel. The uh, only fuel is water. Okay. You make sure there's constant water, boil uh, water from the boiler. Yes. It will, it will be on for 24 hours. Uh, even like I said earlier, they did it in such a way that it will work for 24 7. 365 days yes. of, the of the year uh, is on. Yes. The only thing that you do is just keep lubricating. Yes. Keep lubricating. If you keep lubricating it, it will continue serving. Yes. No problem. Like uh, on the other hand, the. Uh, what do you call it? The fuel. Like I said earlier, the fuel is water. Uh, Once the water is constant, uh, like that's why we are trying to um, tell you the problem we are having about the, one of the major concerns that is water. Yes. If that stream, if, if they can uh, mount borehole for us, like government can do it for some of this our uh, yes. This is a cluster, mm -hmm. and government is interested in cluster. Yes. So they can buy, they can uh, help us do the sorry, do the. Uh, water project mm. and the fencing of fencing of these premises so that things will start happening well. Okay. That's one of the things we have. And uh, this uh, dilapidated roof, okay. this thing doesn't need rain just like that because of some of these belts. Yeah. Uh, if rain comes and the penetrated roof, the belt will go out. Yes. The other belt will not will move out. Uh. Then the production will stop. Yeah, but for that, for the other on the other side, this thing was installed very well that it doesn't need to stop for 24 hours. So well, the other thing is that so in most cases we lack raw material. Mm -hmm. mm, but if raw material is available, I'm telling you honestly, 24-7, any person that have, that have leverage here will make money. So let me get this thing clearly. The steam boiler will power... Where is the hot water now? Where is the, boil, where is the hot water? The hot water, this thing is double. Okay. This thing is tank. Uh, Definitely is tank. Okay. Because you look at this thing, from between here and uh, here, inside it, okay. it's coated, yes. so it's water, filled water, filled with water. Okay. Uh -huh. This thing is filled with water. So as soon as you, 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 the thing gets boiled, enough steam, reserve steam, yes. will now be used to process those uh, fluids, like, like you are see, see yes. there. That's the steam. And it is the steam that is generating this electricity? Yes, now, it's the steam that is generating the, steam, the electricity. It's the steam. Yeah. What uh, the, the steam that the steam engine that turns the central police system uh, that that have that conveyor belt? Okay, uh, that belt. Okay. Okay. So, okay. All right. Go ahead, sir. So after that, when you have your six bags of cement mm. filled with uh, palm fruit, you now pour them there. On it, five, before five minutes, it's done. Like this one is done already. Before five minutes, it's done. You now move it down to the digester. This is digester. This you is the kettle. This, this is, is the kettle. Yeah, this is the kettle. We call this sterilizer. 
or auto claim. Okay, the auto claim. Yeah, the auto claim. The sterilizer or auto claim. Mm -hmm. You now move it down to the sterilizer. So the digester. The digester. It, within five minutes, it will all digest. Uh, yeah. 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 So the pop the then you now shift the, the, the same charge to the centrifugal press. This, this is the pressure. Press. Yeah, this is the presser. Okay. The centrifugal press. Uh, uh, it's just almost like it's just like washing machine. Yeah. It's the same system. Uh, so when you now push it, when you now fill it with this, thing, you you, put, you uh, engage in the gear, engage the, the gear system. Uh, the gear system will now move it. Yes. The speed is as good as one forty my, my kilometers per hour. Yes. Uh -huh. So like you see it now. The oil will start coming. Okay, the oil will come out here. Yeah. Whatever. Mm. That's it. Yes. You see the oil? Yes. yes the oil coming out in full. Okay. In, in the next five minutes, it will place all the oil. All the oil out. Within five minutes, you see that it's increasing. Yes. It's increasing. Yes. And uh, this uh, this one depends on the oil. Yeah. Uh, depends on the oil yellow. Mm. Uh, because it all depends on the palm fruit. Yes. If the palm fruit rises very well, you now have good yield. Yes. Quality, quantity yield. Yes. Uh, but it's not some, like some of them. They don't. They normally go and harvest on ripe ones. Yes. Uh, so you don't expect good yield. Okay. When you produce, when you harvest. Uh, on, on ripe ones. Okay. So this is pure oil. From here, straight to a pan, okay. straight to a stew, straight yes. to a soup. There's no water here. Yes. No water. It's only when this one will finish that they will put water. Uh, you go and ship that water, then cook the remaining. Uh, That's it. Do you have an idea of like, after these six bags of cement here, how many jerrycans of palm oil that should come out here? That's what I'm saying. It depends on the quantity of, uh, it depends on, yes, it depends on the quality of the palm. Yes. If the quality of the palm is okay, it can give you two, two, uh, two jerrycans. Sometimes okay. you raise two jerrycans or two and a half, okay. or sometimes you raise one and a half, depending on how ripe yes. and the species. Okay. Yeah, because like when you have terrena, uh, it will give you a large quantity of oil. Okay. Terrena, which is agric. Yes. But the dura gives you uh, less oil and the high quality canal. Okay. Yeah, so, but do that cross the sephira means that it's, uh, agric is mixed, it's local, it's half cast. Uh, uh, it means agric and mixed local. Okay. So in that case, Possibly it will give you half of uh, palm, palm oil yeah. and half of canal. Okay. Okay. But once you have agric, pure tenera, mm. you have less palm, palm canal. Palm canal, yes. Yeah. What? Okay, all right. So, uh, what sort of, what are these tanks for here? Yeah. Let's go over here so that we stop yeah, blocking these, them. These tanks are, we call them for the tap. Like you see this one, we, call, we call it twin system. Okay. This is twin uh, system. Yes. Like the one you saw at Umuhu, it has one. Yes. Even at Ugeke, only one, one two. Mm. Yes. So, uh, these are the These are technical. Uh, like, assuming we are doing company uh, and we are not doing commercial milling. Yes. What they normally, what we normally do, like the initial time they install this, what they normally do is, um, once they are milling, they will be pouring water and oil in the same thing. Uh, the pump, pump will now move them to these tanks. Yes. Then by 4 p.m., they come and on the scene to cook the oil. See you now. All of them are working, uh, yeah, but there's no need for, for the thing now. Yes. So once you on this thing, it will start boiling the oil. Uh, uh, by tomorrow morning, they will all settle. Yes. You now remove the sludge. The sludge will now go through the, uh, the gutter, yes. to the stream, every, every early in the morning. Yes. Uh, before people wake up, mm. they will now transfer all the other. That's why most of the fishes in that field, mm. they, are, they are all healthy. I even wanted to ask, by the way, in this factory, whenever you people produce the sludge, mm -hmm. I believe people produce sludge here. Yes. What, how do people, what do people do with the sludge? We dispose it because we, have, we are trying to install, uh, establish fish ponds. Uh -huh. Some of these, uh, even big, big grain. Mm. Once we start, all those things are very big for, 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 for those pigs. So if, like, if people want to buy sludge, they can actually reach out to you to supply, to supply them with farm oil sludge. De definitely. Definitely. We are, we are, like I told you earlier, there's nothing in oil palm that is waste. Uh, nothing. Everything is okay. 
everything is intact. Uh. So if we can see people that will buy the sludge, we will sell. All right. uh, or even companies that need it, we can supply. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, sir. So I think we now we have concluded the section of the palm oil. So we'll now go and talk about of the palm kernel, the palm kernel pro process.